Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Praetorian, and welcome back to Hearts Farm 4 as we are playing with the Communist States of America in the Man the Guns expansion. Before we get started with today's episode, there's one thing I would like to, to address, uh, just because it's been brought up so many times in the comments uh, for the series, and I'm hoping that addressing it now will, will result in it not being brought up as much. Uh, so I have a, a, a speech problem that I've kind of struggled with my, my whole life. Uh, when I was a kid, uh, I was just, just terrible. Uh, my brother and I, you couldn't really understand what we were saying because uh, we had such bad speech issues. And of course, we grew up poor, so nobody really gave a shit about helping us fix those. So I just kind of grew up with those. And uh, it wasn't until my adult life that I started trying to like fix my speech issues, my you know problems with pronunci pronunciation. And this YouTube thing has actually helped with that a lot. Uh, you get like thousands of people making fun of you and the way you talk. It kind of results in you kind of uh, you know wanting to fix some of that. Uh, it gives you more incentive. Uh, so it's definitely helped a lot. You, you look at my old videos, you can tell my pronunciation has improved quite a bit. Uh, so I don't really mind people bringing it up, you know, when I pronounce things wrong, but it kind of gets annoying when it's the same thing over and over again. It's a word that I can't particularly say right no matter what I do. And one of them is the word ideal. So everybody thinks that I'm saying ideal uh, when I say ideal. And I've had, I think, eight comments or something like that on just this series alone uh, saying that I'm saying the word wrong. I'm actually not, guys. I know the difference in the words. I know there's two different words. One spelled I-D-E-A, and the other one spelled I-D-E-A-L. It's just when I say the word ideal, it does say sound like I have an L on the back of it. I don't. When I say them back to back, I feel like you can tell the difference. I try and emphasize, you know, I said when I say ideal, I try and I emphasize that eel part of it a little bit more so that there's a difference. Of course, that doesn't help when I say the word ideal, though. Uh, when I just say ideal, everybody thinks there's an L. Uh, I know. I know, guys. Uh, you don't need to keep saying it. Uh, I appreciate those of you who are trying to, that are, are, are you know, doing it um, politely and just trying to help me say a word right. Uh, but, you know, once again, it's this is not an issue of uh, me not knowing how to say it right. It's an issue of me just not being able to. Uh, so I do appreciate those of you guys who've done it respectfully. Uh, those of you who have been assholes, yeah, go fuck yourself. Uh, but uh, for the most part, uh, everybody's been pretty pretty kind about it but i just wanted to address that one i usually don't bring up this kind of stuff uh but that one has come up so much probably because i said the word ideal a lot uh so uh, i understand people would be like you're saying that wrong uh so i just wanted to make that clear so that people will hopefully stop bringing it up um, i bet there's gonna be like 10 comments talking about it now uh but yeah uh just so you guys are clear i do have issues with pronunciation and i'm always working on them but i think that word there is just always going to be one that fucks me over i just can't uh can't can't i don't know i don't know why i can't say it uh, unfortunately, it's just one of those things. Uh, so, so yeah, uh, after we've uh, gone over that, let's go ahead and get started, guys. Uh, I wanted to go ahead and show you guys I did name uh, the rest of the divisions. Uh, so the infantry are going to be named Old Hickory. That's after the uh, 30th Infantry Division. Uh, the, they also recommend, uh, offered the suggestion of the 3rd Division's uh, name as well, their, their nickname. But I decided to go with the 30th. Well, the 3rd is a little bit more uh, known because obviously they fought all over. I think they fought in like almost every theater in Europe, uh, as well as in North Africa. Uh, so they, they, cause they, they fought in Italy and Sicily. Uh, so a little bit more known. Uh, I like the old Hickory name. I think that one's good. Plus, uh, there are many historians that consider them the most important American infantry division in the European theater. Uh, cause they fought like the most, uh, continuous days or whatever. Uh, so they were, um, pretty hardcore division. Uh, the Germans called them Roosevelt's SS. Uh, they were, uh, pretty feared division amongst the Germans. So yeah, I thought that was that was fitting. Plus the old Hickory name uh, is after uh, Andrew Jackson, uh, President Andrew Jackson. So yeah, I thought that'd be a fitting name. So I like that. Uh, the tanks, cars with cannons was the suggestion here for our like tanks. So that's what we're going to call them. Uh, and then the, there's one more. Oh yes, the cab division. Uh, they're going to be called the Secretariats. And that's a, named after the American racehorse. There's a movie after that's been uh, made about it. Uh, I haven't seen the movie. I don't, couldn't tell you much about the horse. But yeah, I thought that was fitting. Sure, we'll name it that. Uh, so thank you for your suggestions, guys. Uh, that's that's all of the, the division names. Uh, we do have medium tanks will be coming up. Once we build those out, once we have the experience to build those out, we've been trying to complete the rest of our divisions i want to say we did finish them as well we just got the mountain troops done i think airborne still needs to be done yeah that's why we haven't built any of those we do need airborne if we're going to use those but i think getting medium tanks would be more important so we'll probably get medium tanks next uh that's going to be whew, i don't know it's going to be a lot of experience guys like 50 or 60 experience depend on if we want to build them 40 with divisions right from the get-go which we probably do probably should need like a good 
60 to 80, 60 to 80 army experience. So we're gonna be saving up for that. I think we also get some from our national focus. Oh no, nope, we already got those. Never mind. Uh, so there might be some other focuses that get us army experience. Uh, but yeah, that's the the next division that we'll need a name for. But wait until we get to that point, since it probably won't be this episode. Uh, so let's go and get started, guys. Uh, I think we just yeah we just completed the invasion of Iwo Jima, and we're now we're doing these invasions of all the rest of these islands here. So let's get those completed. Oh yes, also. Uh, I have this, this army of tanks moving over to Los Angeles, and we're going to have them go over here to Japan next, because uh, we're going to be using them in the invasion of China. And what I'm going to attempt to do, I'm going to send those marine divisions to take these ports, and then the tanks are going to go in after them, and we did just get radar, and then just seek to just grab as many victory points as possible with those really fast light tank divisions and just like just race to the victory points uh the really the really good ones this is this is the point right here that we need to get to if we can get to here we automatically win uh basically uh, we'll have to come get beijing but when i launch the invasions we'll be launching the invasion uh here simultaneously of uh manchuria uh, so the ideal is and the reason why i'm not launching this now is because look at this front guys this front is really, really tiny. Uh, it does not require very many divisions to defend that front. So if we launch the invasion, once we've already conquered all this here, and they're down on this front, then they can pump a lot of divisions down south to defend against the invasions. However, if there's this big old massive front that they have to defend against, uh, rather than this little one here, uh, then they're not gonna be able to pull back all the divisions. Uh, they won't be able to do it, especially if we are able to like uh, prioritize uh, advancing this way to cut off their retreat. And we could end up basically cutting off all of these divisions in the north and completely unable to stop our advance in the south. That's the ideal. That's what we're going to try and make happen. Whether it works or not, it's hard to say. You never can tell if it's going to work. Uh, but let's hope it does. We're going to try it out. Uh, we did get just get the new radars. We're going to go all the way with the radar tech so we can go ahead and finish that tech tree. And... I believe we're done with all these invasions as well. Oh yeah, all right, excellent. Uh, there's still one more here because they did face a little bit of resistance. We're gonna go ahead and knock these out here since we are done with them. Looks like we also have to get these troops advancing or they're already doing that, excellent. Uh, so there's one more island here to grab and there is actually aluminum there so we'll probably want to grab it. That's something we're always kind of short with. Uh, and what is, what is this one? Okay, we sunk some convoys there. All right, excellent. Let's take a look here. Also, we can build some some ships out, so we'll go ahead and do that. It's like a Chinese light cruiser. That's good news. Uh, so I want to say that's that's it. Yeah, we just need to do the invasion there. Uh, these invasions here, which does mean we need to move our fleet. So we'll probably go ahead and do that. Uh, I don't know if there's any more. There's no more ships over here. There's none in the Solomon Sea either. Yeah, I think it'd be worth it to go ahead and start moving moving the fleets over here. Uh, so let's take care of that now. Although it looks like there's about to be a battle somewhere. Let me just take a look what's going on here. We might want to wait until this battle's over. Yeah, we're about to engage. Oh, it's a small fleet. Never mind. It's irrelevant. All right, so let's go ahead and pull these guys back. I don't think we need to. Uh, oh, they're repairing right now. Oh. Yeah, I didn't realize that. Maybe we should wait till they finish repairing before we attempt to, to change these up. Uh, let me just see, because I want to say these guys are repairing too. Oh, they're not. All right, it's fine. Uh, so let's go ahead and we'll just use this one. Pull these guys back out of here. And then we're going to go ahead and cover these regions here. Uh, this is where we're doing those invasions. Uh, we're also going to want to assign this fleet here. Uh, so let's go ahead and pull them back. Uh, do we want to pull them back from here? You know what? We'll leave this one open because we have seen the enemy go in there every once in a while. All right, but we will patrol these regions here. All right, so that looks pretty good, guys. Uh, and I want to see if we have any ships that are currently done. We do not. Such a bummer we lost the Tom Cruiser, man. I'm still, like, devastated about that. And I was supposed to build ships. My bad, guys. Just devastated about that loss. Uh, so we need to go and get the destroyers. We're going to use our basic destroyer here. I did realize that I made a mistake here. These should have been placed over here if we didn't want to have to replace them because you can't put the uh, torpedoes over here, unfortunately. So we're going to have to put the depth charges here and then m make these be the two torpedo launchers for our torpedo destroyer. And I had completely forgot to duplicate that. Uh, so my bad. Uh, but it's fixed now. Uh, so now that we have, uh, uh, we now have this duplicated so that we don't delete our our uh, basic destroyer hull. All right, let's go and save that. And then we're gonna wanna get these guys constructing. Uh, and in fact, I think that does mean we want to decommission the other torpedo destroyers, the twos. And I wanna say that's it. Yeah, it looks like we're good to go here. 
Maybe we need to decommission it. Maybe this is the reason why I wasn't able to upgrade these ships over to the mine lane ones. Maybe because they weren't de decommissioned or yeah, I'm not entirely sure what was going on there. Uh, but yeah, let's decommission that so that if we wanted to, we could change some more of our old destroyers over to the, the mine lane because we do need some more mine layers. Uh, something we might do here in the future. Let's go and get the training fleet set up here and then pump these below or above our torpedo destroyers, I suppose. And we're just gonna build one more of these. Uh, and this should be done on the 30th of November. So a couple more weeks, and then we'll start getting the new ones. We're just going to assign those now. All right, so that's looking pretty good, guys. Yeah, excellent. Oh, we actually still have experience left. I didn't see that. All right, well, let's go ahead and do the submarines. So between the cruiser submarines and the 1940 submarines, the cruiser submarines are not as good. Uh, the cruiser submarines have, uh, they're not as, they're more visible, uh, much higher visibility. Uh, so you'll see, yeah, 13.5 here for these ones. Uh, these guys have 18, so uh, that's obviously a, a negative. And on top of that, they have less speed. Uh, so these guys are 21 knots, while the cruiser submarines are 16.8 knots. Uh, and then I want to say their yeah, the range is the same. Everything else is the same. Really, the cruiser submarine is just superior to the 1936 submarine. So if you get the cruisers be while you're still doing 1936, then you should probably change those up if you don't have the 1940s yet. But once you get the 1940s, cruiser submarines are, are not needed. So we can go ahead and decommission those. We're not going to be using those. Uh, and we'll just decommission both of these as well. And this is... I don't think we're going to make a... I don't know if I'm going to use these guys for mine lane at all. I'm not really too worried about them sinking our submarines. Uh, so I'm not going to make a base or anything like that. We, we will duplicate this so that that one will still be there if it looks like it'll be cheaper to do it that way. Uh, but yeah, we're just going to go ahead and design these as is. We don't need a base one. And they're just going to have torpedoes, not all the way across, because here in the mid zone, we can pick either a snorkel or a radar. Now, of course, the radar uh, increases the surface detection. Uh, Sub-detection as well, but that doesn't really help a submarine. Uh, but yeah, you can definitely see that it increases it by a lot. However, the snorkel makes us a lot less visible. You know what, guys? I, I think we're going to go with that. Uh, I, I find it's... I have more issues with my submarines being found and sunk than I do with them not being able to find stuff to sink. They're pretty good at, at finding uh, ships, even with the lower detection. Uh, I know they'll be slightly better or whatever, but I, I think this is the best way to do it with the snorkels. Uh, so let's go ahead and save that. I think that's good. Oh, we need to name them. All right, so from here on out, or at least for this 1940 uh, version of submarines, we're going to be calling them the, Le the Leviathans. Uh, we had a patron request that we name them that, so I wasn't originally planning on naming uh, the submarines anything but just like attack submarines or mine lane submarines or whatever. You know, based on the jobs, the same way we do with the destroyers and the light cruisers. But, you know, we, we only have one model of submarine, so I think it's fine to give them a little special name. Besides, Leviathan is just a badass name anyways. Uh, so, yeah, let's get the Leviathan submarines uh, created over here. We're going to want to put them right over here and give them the 10, uh, the 10 uh, dockyards, put them in the training fleet, and then reduce them down to one. And I think all of our old ships here are all building at one right now. All right, so these guys are going to finish on the 14th of November, so a matter of days. And then we'll get those the submarines done. All right, so we're still trying to complete this invasion here. Uh, also, it looks like we're going to engage this fleet here. We might actually be engaged in them now. Yeah, we are. We got, we've lost two destroyers already. This is, remember, this is a smaller fleet. Uh, we've already lost uh, two destroyers, and we, we do have air support as well, so that's helpful. Uh, and we sunk a light cruiser and a destroyer. It does seem that most of these have been done by the light guns, though it does seem the uh, naval bombers have helped out a little bit. Yeah, so I think... I think we won there. Uh, that's excellent. Of course, we can click it on here if we wanted to get so we're not hovering over. Somebody you know, mentioned, why don't I do this instead? Which I guess it makes more sense if you don't want to hover over each ship. Uh, and this is a good way to see you know, all the damage that was done uh, to each ship. So yeah, this is this is uh, three light cruisers and a destroyer sunk. So quite helpful indeed. Uh, just trying to get that Japanese uh, fleet completely destroyed. Uh, let's see how many more ships they have left. They currently have 100 and maybe 50 ships left. All right, so let's get the next invasions plenty. Uh, I don't know what you guys are doing. Oh, they're all going to that one fucking front. All right, don't do not do it, dog. Stop it. Stop the madness. Yeah, they're going over there as well. That's awesome. Go over there, man. Killing me. Uh, what happened is their their front got destroyed once I took both these islands and they felt the need to go over there. Uh, what we want these guys to do is we want them to launch their invasion right there. All right, excellent. Uh, and then I think... The rest of these guys are done, aren't they? Unless we wanted to invade into Australia. I suppose we could start planning for invasions uh, down here. Sure, why not? Let's go ahead and make that happen, guys. Uh, let's launch a couple invasions. We're going to have an invasion right there, uh, which will be probably these guys here. Uh, actually, it looks like we have a couple. Yeah, we actually have a couple divisions here. All right, let's go ahead and just start launching invasions. It's fine. 
let's plan these. Uh, hit right there, I guess, or right here. We'll hit that one. Uh, and then let's get these guys here. Launching invasions. Remember, this is Imperial Australia, so it is an enemy. Uh, we're gonna launch an invasion right there. Uh, and then I think we're gonna have, you know what, this guy here, he's gonna have to launch an invasion on that one little island. Yeah, we'll have him do that. Feels insignificant, but trust me, buddy, you're an important part of our war effort here. Because I want to say that this is not... Yeah, I want to say that that's not connected. Uh, these guys here, both of them are going to go uh, from the same port. And they're going to be... Oh, damn you. Motherfucker. <laughs> uh, these damn islands. All right, we're going to be launching the invasion from right here to hit that port up. All right, excellent. And I don't think that they'll be able to complete it on their own, but that's fine. Uh, yes, both of you guys are going to be going to that one. Uh, and do we have any other? I want to say we have some other divisions sitting around here somewhere. Yeah, we have these guys here. Uh, we'll have them. They should probably come down here and help out with one of these invasions, I suppose. Yeah, I guess that would make most sense. Yeah, you know what? Let's send them from here, actually. Send an invasion from here and hit Guadalcanal. And do we have them assigned? Yeah, they're assigned. Excellent. So they'll go take care of all those for us, and those should be the final invasions that we have to do until we invade Australia. Of course, we have these ones as well, uh, which I want to say that they can now launch. No, we do not have superiority in the South China Sea. Uh, but that's okay. We can't just launch this invasion, and then hopefully we'll get uh, superiority of there soon. Mm, yeah, they, we don't have it yet, so they can't launch just yet. Uh, but as our fleet start moving over here, hopefully that'll change. They do still have 60-something ships over there. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see what happens there, guys. Uh, it does look like we sunk one of those light cruisers there. Fantastic. Uh, and also a uh, light cruiser and six destroyers here. All right, so getting those screens dealt with. Uh, and maybe finally getting this fleet in the South China Sea dealt with as well. Yeah, you can see we're kind of really ticking down uh, some of the health here. Uh, I, I want to say this is their main fleet that they have left. Wow, look at that that converted battleship hull, uh, which is carrier. Uh, it only has 2%, and it looks like we just sunk it. All right, excellent. Our, our bombers did that pretty much all on their own. Sunk that carrier. So that's excellent. Very happy to see that. Uh, it looks like that was enough as well to tick us into 50% so that our, our troops could get sent. So good news. Happy day. Uh, we're also about to land over here in Okinawa as well. There we go. Far more divisions than we needed, obviously, but remember these guys are going to be deploying uh, into China. Next, we're going to be starting those invasions. Uh, then hopefully, those go well. Uh, we're getting these tanks over. We can't really even do those invasions until the tanks get here. Uh, so it doesn't, doesn't matter that we're getting all these other extra stuff done. It does seem that these guys uh, might have... No, they didn't engage us. I think we just bombed them. Uh, somebody's engaging us over here. Yeah, there's a battleship right there. We're having some difficulty here, guys. I don't actually know if we're going to win that. Yeah, perhaps not. Yeah, that might that might not be a victory. Uh, what we can do is try and get a, a, a fleet over there to see if they can help out. I'll do that in a second, guys. Uh, first, let's go ahead and get another tech. Uh, once again, we're just going to have this one tech here continuing to focus on Navy stuff. Uh, obviously, the 1944 techs aren't needed just yet. Uh, we could get the torpedoes, though, and the medium caliber uh, semi-armor piercing shells. As well as the, yeah, the magnetic mines would be useful as well. That uh, means they'll do more damage. All right, let's 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 go ahead and get the ones up here first. I think we should probably get the, the homing torpedoes. Just to make our, our torpedo destroyers and our torpedo submarines a little bit better. Uh, so we need to get these guys a fleet uh, to assist them. I think these guys are over here. Yeah, uh, they're not really doing anything. Oh, they're assisting that invasion. That's right. We need to launch that invasion, by the way. Uh, I know that we have another one, too. I think we sent these guys to, to do something else. Uh, yeah, they're currently on strike force. So let's go ahead and have them do the naval invasion support, and we'll just send them over here, uh, though they don't want to listen. I need to pull them off the order. All right, so we'll have them go over here now. They're not that far away, I don't think. Yeah, they're not too far away. So they might be able to get in here in time to save our marines so they don't have to launch this invasion again. Uh, and yeah, our bombers are doing a great job over here. Just sunk a light cruiser as well. Uh, so definitely getting some wins there through the air. And then hopefully these guys can can result in a victory here. Uh, it looks like we're getting the bombardment, but it wasn't enough. Yeah, it just was not enough, guys, unfortunately. All right, well, that's a shame. We might have to launch the invasion again. We might have to send all these divisions this time. Uh, I don't know. Ten divisions seems like a lot. Uh, I think those cab divisions are done. That's right, our, sec our secretariats uh, are done. So we want to go ahead and just set them to deploy anywhere. It doesn't really matter. Let's play them on the west coast, I suppose. 
and then let's go ahead and deploy all these guys. Uh, it looks like there's a lot of divisions that are currently ready to deploy. All right, uh, so the cav divisions, where are they at? Let's go ahead and get them go into their army. That's 50 divisions in this army now, uh, and I don't think we're having any, any issues right now where we need to assign them to additional locations. Uh, and then also sunk some uh, some convoys all along here. And we'll go through them real quick. Looks like that was it. And we're short on steel again. Good God. Uh, somebody else noticed that there seems to be like a, a real steel shortage in Man the Guns now. Uh, like everybody's having like steel issues outside of the Soviet Union, uh, which is interesting. Maybe that needs to be rebalanced or something. Not entirely sure. I don't know. This is obviously as Japan, you know, I've had some steel issues, but it hasn't been too bad. I'm, I've been surprised, though, with the problems we've had as America with steel. Uh, you wouldn't expect to be having those problems. Yeah, I don't think that this is this is going to work, guys. Yeah, it looks like that is a failure. Let's just go ahead and tell them to just go back home. It's clearly not going to work. Just go on back home. We're going to need to send additional forces. Uh, we'll probably send all 10 divisions. They should be able to do it if all 10 of them are there, you'd, you'd think, anyways. Uh, we also have a place where we can give air support now. Uh, we have a, a close air base, so that should also result in a victory. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, you know what? I like training them before we send them. I don't know if we're going to be, get, be able to continue training these guys, though, before we send them. It's kind of getting to be a pain in the ass, honestly. They're just going to have to go out there as rookies and learn on the job, is what I say. Uh, so let's go and pump some, some more planes over here. We can get more naval bombers, too. I'm saying that we're kind of stacked on naval bombers. Uh, now I'm just looking for some damn fighters. Where's the dang fighters? Uh, yeah, we'll just put these guys and let them upgrade, since there's not really enough to justify putting a whole air wing. And we're going to want these guys over here. To help us out in that invasion, hopefully that goes well. Uh, and we'll probably put more over here, actually. Oh, we'll wait till we get that that air base. But yeah, they're going to help out with these invasions here. Uh, as far as naval bombers, though, uh, I think we should probably send some more. Uh, let's do... How many do we have? How many naval bombers do we have sitting? I see some naval bombers twos. Maybe we don't have as many as I thought. Hey, oh, we might have been losing them, honestly. Yeah, I think we could have been losing some naval bombers. We have them all over the place. Oh, there we go. They have bombers ones. All right. Thought we had some more. Wasn't sure, though. Uh, so we know that there's a large chunk of their fleet over here, so I think it would make sense to send some more ships over there. Let's take a look and see where else the enemy is. Uh, we need to go to naval mode. Let's see if we can't find these enemy ships. We know that there's 60-something there. Uh, and where are the rest? Nowhere to be found. Are they over here? Nope. Not over here either. There's some right there. I suppose we could bomb there. I think, yeah, I think this is the majority of their fleet is right there. They're probably repairing as well, guys. Uh, in fact, we could also do... This is... That's exactly what we're going to do. Let's go and get... How much room do we have here? Oh, we got a little bit of room. Uh, so let's go ahead and get the naval bombers going here. Although we could also do close air support with this, because close air support aren't too bad with it either. Uh, but I want to bomb their ports. So where the hell are the naval bombers? I already lost them. Uh, there we go. So let's bomb the port here because that's probably where they're repairing. We don't know for sure, but if I had to guess, that's probably where they're at. So let's do a port strike there and see if we can't bomb the Japanese fleet. Uh, we do have a decision available as well to readmit another state to the Union. Let's readmit South Carolina. There we go. That might be the last one because if I had to guess, they would probably have you do you know the, the capital state as the last one. Uh, so now we have a tons, tons of troops over here training, getting this done. Uh, and... Uh, we're about to get the mountain uh, divisions trained as well. Still waiting on the tanks, guys. Uh, I don't know how much longer these guys will have to uh, plan now that we sent them extra divisions. Uh, they need to get their organization up again anyways. It looks like they're done with their planning. Okay, excellent. I bet these guys are probably done with their planning as well. Uh, we have several divisions that we can send uh, to these invasions once they get there, and I think we'll go ahead and bring them there now. Uh, let's go ahead and start moving some of these troops here. Move them over to right here for now until we get these invasions launched. Bring them on over here because they're going to be going over to that province to help us out there. All right, so let's go ahead and execute this. And yeah, it looks like they should be successful everywhere except for, yeah, they can land there as well. We do have troops, or do have ships patrolling there. I was going to say that I don't think they can actually launch that one. That is not the case. Uh, thinking about uh, over here, we should probably take a look and see if we can launch this invasion. Uh, once again, this is this is going to be a tough one, guys. I don't know how well this is going to succeed. We'll try, see if they can't launch an attack there. Uh, and then these guys are going to want to attack as well, which I don't expect that to go well. Uh, I guess we can try here. Yeah, it looks like maybe. Yeah, we might be able to win there now. These divisions are cut off in supplies. They're pretty weak. So, yeah, we might be able to get them destroyed. Let's see if we can't do this. Yeah, it looks like we won here. Excellent. 
So we'll get all these divisions here destroyed. Uh, and then, yeah, looks like Columbia has been conquered. I've been watching that show Narcos. I don't know if you guys have seen that on Netflix. Uh, I just finished up the first season. I'm like way behind, obviously, I know. Uh, but yeah, I'm really enjoying that, man. It's a, it's a pretty good show. It's about uh, Pablo Escobar. And it's uh, it's interesting. I, I think that they, have in some ways, they, uh, I don't know, <laughs> they kind of made him too easy to root for Pablo. Uh, they didn't, I feel like, oh, we're winning here, excellent. I feel like they didn't do as good a job as like, they could have done with kind of showing how, I mean, he wasn't like, every everybody has good and bad things about them, of course. Uh, so, you know, I'm not trying to say that you have to make him into, oh, I don't think we, yeah, we can't go all the way over there. Uh, so I'm not saying they, they had to make him into, you know, just show his villainous qualities and uh, not any of the, you know, the, some of the good things he might have, good qualities might have had, because everybody's human. Everybody has, every human has, you know, good and, and bad qualities. So I'm not trying to say that they shouldn't have uh, portrayed those, but it just kind of feels like they spent maybe a little bit too much time on the, the good qualities. I don't know. Uh, like, they have them killing people in it and stuff, but... Uh, th it just doesn't, they don't have him as, as villainous as he is. If you want to call him a villain, maybe that's not the right right term. Uh, can we launch this yet? We cannot. We don't have control of the South China Sea yet. Uh, I just felt like they could could have made, maybe more accurately represented some of the some of the really bad shit he did. Because uh, it's just way too easy to root for Pablo uh, in, the, in the show. Uh, I find myself rooting for him, even though he's the bad guy. Uh, but yeah, definitely enjoying the show. It's uh, pretty entertaining, I'd say. All right, let's go and get all this here conquered. These guys are gonna Move go out. get the rest of this. Uh, actually, go this way, this way, then that way. All right, and then these guys are gonna go all the way up here. All right, so getting these knocked out, uh, and we're sending more troops over here as well. And I want to say yes. I knew there's another area that needed to get conquered. Let's so go and move those guys over there. All right. It's looking pretty good. I want to say that that's it. I want to say once we conquer these islands here, uh, we're pretty much done. There's these Japanese islands over here, and Columbia has capitulated. Uh, but these are actually French islands. I'm not willing to take those just for them to go back into French hands. No, thank you. Um, I would assume they'd go back into French hands. I don't actually know for sure. Uh, and Lawton Collins falls ill. Oh, no. Uh, we had another battle over here. Tell me it was like a big battle. Looks like we lost three destroyers. We did sink a light cruiser and four destroyers. All right, we're definitely losing a lot of destroyers, guys. Uh, let me see if we have any destroyers in here. Looks like we have one that's currently done. We'll go and pull him out and get him moving over to one of these fleets. It looks like uh, I've taken... Yeah, these guys are pretty damn damaged. All right, we should probably give them the ship then. And we also have lots of submarines that are done as well. All right, so let's go and pull these guys out. And I, I want to say we could probably just put these into the reserves. Oh, no, we lost some submarines. Never mind, let me take that back. All right, we'll move them over here then. All right. Looking excellent on that front. Uh, and are our, did we finish here yet? This is, oh yeah, that's right, we can't launch them yet. We don't have naval superiority. All right, that's a shame. I need to get this done. As soon as we get this done, we can launch our invasion into China, which I really wanted to have it like preparing by the end of this episode, which we do not have yet. We do have a battle over here. It looks like we're battling some submarines, our destroyers are. Okay, they are fleeing, trying to get away. Uh, but hopefully catch them, maybe destroy a couple before they do get out of, get out of there. Because uh, that's going to be the majority of what we, we're fighting from here on out, probably, is submarines. I wouldn't be surprised if the majority of the ships they have left are, are submarines outside of this one fleet that they have over here, which is, yeah, it looks like uh, this is not the fleet I'm talking about. But yeah, they have, uh, they might have actually broke up. Uh, yeah, I think that might have been what happened, uh, because they broke off to repair some of the ships, because they don't have as many ships there. Speaking of repairing ships, let's take a look and see if these guys are done repairing yet. Uh, it looks like we're... Ugh. Some of these ships are almost done. Might as well wait. I don't want to wait for this one, though. This is the one I don't want to wait for. Uh, but I don't want to, like, pull too many off, and then they have, like, a really small fleet out there. I remember the Japanese still have a, a significant size fleet. Uh, so, yeah, you see them here. Pretty large fleet here, so we don't want, you know, our, our ships fighting them alone. Uh, besides, we're bombing them this whole time, weakening them. By the time we engage them, we should have a significant advantage against them. Uh, we do have more dockyards now. Uh, we got three more dockyards because we've been building all those dockyards. I guess we're going to get another another ship line going, actually. Uh, we have one submarine, two destroyers, two light cruisers. We still need to design those heavy cruisers, don't we? The Tom cruisers? Uh, the next model of them? I don't think we've actually... Hmm. Where's the 1940? 
That's strange. I wonder why we don't have... Do you have to take this? Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. Do you have to take the this one and then make it into a heavy cruiser? I want to say that that's what you need to do, actually. Yeah, perhaps. Uh, and then throw the medium batteries on these. And then I'll make it into a heavy cruiser. Yeah, I want to say that that's what we need to do. Let's take this one. I, I don't know how much experience it's going to take. Probably more than we have, so we'll wait to do it till next episode. I highly doubt we'll do it in that, that amount. Uh, so instead, let's build... I, I guess we can build another battleship. Sure, let's get another battleship going, guys. Uh, and we'll take a look and see if there's anything that we can make any uh, adjustments to it. If there's anything that's not up to date. I know our radar is not up to date, so we could always increase that. Yeah, if we went to radar 3, you notice, yeah, that does increase the attack ability quite a bit. Yeah, so we'll probably go ahead and make that adjustment. So let's go ahead and change the name here. So yeah, this is going to be the C's. Uh, and let's just see if there's anything else that needs to be upgraded besides radar. Obviously, we do want to improve that radar. You notice it is increasing all of our attack abilities. So that's the main reason why we want to increase that. I want to say that's it. Yeah, we haven't got the new anti-air yet. Uh, I'm pretty sure we have, yeah, the most modern armor. So yeah, that, that's the only adjustment. So we'll just go ahead and save that. And there'll be the C's, South Dakota uh, three C's. Uh, let's go ahead and get those building now. And we're gonna go ahead and decommission. Now it looks like that changed up the Bravos. All right, excellent. Let's go ahead and pump these guys uh, up on top of the other battleships here and get these guys going to the training fleet and give them five dockyards. All right, we are again short on some resources. We do have this aluminum here. So let's go ahead and remove one of those. And we'll go ahead and trade for the other chromium as well. We know we'll need it for ships later on. Uh, let's go ahead and get these guys pumping, pumping forward here so we can get this completed. Uh, we'll just manually control this, I suppose. It's fine. Shouldn't take very long, honestly. Uh, and then you guys are gonna go this way and one of you guys go ahead and separate off. Let's go this way instead. And this guy's gonna go up this way. Right, excellent. And in fact, actually, let's go ahead and have these guys go take care of. No, no, we got Move divisions out. that are gonna come up from the south that can do that. Yeah, and they'll come Move complete out. all this for us. And there we go. Excellent. So we'll take care of that. Uh, these troops here are should be coming over to this way. It looks like they decided not to, so we'll just have them do it. Oh, okay. They were only supposed to go right there. All right, I understand. I'll see you guys. All right, are there all the other ships where they need to be? Looks like it, there's an issue there though, so we do need to delete these guys here. Uh, and then we're gonna go and just send these these divisions here straight on over to here. I don't know if we even need this many, honestly, but you never know, maybe we'll face some resistance there. So we'll pump them all over there and get them to help out. All right, so uh, looking pretty good, guys. Um, just taking a look at how much damage we've done to these. Some of them are kind of low. I'm seeing a 49% that converted battleship carrier. Uh, so I might get that sunk soon. There we go. Uh, is that the pride of their fleet? That was the pride of their fleet. All right, so we just sunk another uh, pride of the fleet. Uh, so that doesn't really affect them all that much just because of how high the Japanese war support is. Yeah, it didn't really affect it, unfortunately. But they do have to use political power to make another ship in the pride of the fleet. Uh, so there's that. Uh, and we still don't have control of the naval region. What the hell, man? And yeah, we just don't have enough ships there. Uh, I, I want to say they're probably all repairing. Yeah, I mean, I know that these guys are currently here. Let's take a look. Are, are they done yet? Oh, they're almost there. <laughs> almost there, guys. Yeah, just sitting at... I almost feel like you can just send these guys out the way they are and just go ahead and have this guy detach. Yeah, let's go ahead and say... Um, let's stop them from repairing. Uh, tell them to, to go out. Do you want to abort this task? Yes, we do. Uh, let's just go ahead and send them back out to do the task force. And then what we'll do is we'll have this guy pull out and repair uh, since he's so damaged. And the rest of them, I, I feel, are good to go. I guess this one destroyer can go ahead and pull out, or both of these guys can, actually. Yeah, that, lo that looks good, guys. That should work out well. Just so we can get this fleet out here to, to maybe get them destroyed, uh, we do have uh, civilian factories. So let's take a look at what we want to get these uh, going to. Uh, I might need to find a steel location, man, because even the Soviet Union's gonna run out of steel for us. And we've already built all the steel over there. I guess we're gonna have to go to one of our occupied territories. Kinda hate having to do this, especially because I don't know if I'm gonna keep this territory or not. Uh, but yeah, I don't see any other solution here. We need the steel. Uh, so we'll go ahead and build there. We'll build, nah, that's not really that useful. I guess if you're desperate enough, though, we are trading here uh, for their, that resource, though, so we'll get that going. 
not seeing anything else. We could always annex these guys if we wanted to. I uh, don't really have much to get excited about. I guess it's going to be military factories. Let's go and get more military factories built, guys. Uh, let's do in these 100% interior locations that we have. We've got a lot of them here because of all those resources we had to build for. Uh, and maybe the 70% there as well. All right. Let's go and tick that guy down at the bottom. That should keep him occupied at least for a few weeks, a few more weeks. Let's see if there's any divisions done training. Yeah, I was expecting those mountain ones to be done. Uh, so let's go ahead and pull these guys out and just throw them into this army for right now, uh, which I think is sitting in Florida. These armies are all for whenever the hell we open up a front in the Pacific or in the Atlantic uh, once we get a European front opened. Uh, did these guys fail? Again, I thought, we had, I thought we'd won. <laughs> yeah, it looks like we fucking failed. All right, that sucks. Where's the fleet that's supposed to be assisting us as well? Uh, let me just take a look. Where the hell did they go? I know that we got them here. Uh, yeah, I'm not entirely sure what they're doing. Uh, they should be helping out here. Let's let's go bring them over here now. Uh, make them help out. Over there, man. All right, so get them over there. Uh, and also, these guys here can combine with them. Okay. Uh, any ships that are currently done training? We do. Excellent. Uh, so let's pull these out. I hope you guys don't mind the micro a little bit. I, I, as I said, I kind of like doing this, like just assigning where I want each ship. Um, maybe we'll mess around with the uh, uh, do more open the task force compositions a little bit later. Uh, and it seems I actually missed a submarine. My bad. I'll go ahead and pull him out and go have him go over here as well. Just getting our submarine fleets built back up after all those casualties they took. We to get one of our destroyer threes done. Excellent. Uh, let's go and place these into the the main fleet here. All right. We need to take a look at all our fleets too as well and do a little bit of micromanaging with them. Maybe next episode before I record next episode, we'll do that and take a look at uh, maybe some of the fleets that have like older ships and we can pull those out and uh, get newer ships into them. So the Red Army is there and we still haven't gotten this started and they're also advancing here and I don't want them to be, damn it, about to help them out here get those guys destroyed yeah i don't want that advancing man I, I, fuck man we're just we're stalled out right here because of this this is frustrating because uh, i want to do my invasions across here i almost feel like giving this task or just leaving taiwan for right now and giving this task to somebody else like this army over here can take care of it because yeah i don't know if we're ever going to seize control here i don't know why we don't have more ships over there uh yeah these guys are repairing that's one of the problems uh, maybe many of these are repairing as well, perhaps? Yeah, that's the problem right now. Everybody's freaking repairing. All right, um, what we could do is change these guys over from a convoy escort to a patrol fleet to once again just try and find the enemy here. So maybe we can get this dealt with. Uh, did get decryption, excellent. Uh, so we're done here. All right, yeah, we're completely done with the engineering outside of these ones. Uh, I think the industrials, oh, we're in 1943 again. All right, I guess we gotta get concentrated industry then. I'm gonna start to improve our industry. And I want to say we only got a few minutes left, guys. I was really hoping to get this done so we can get this planning, but yeah, it's just not. We're at 20%. Good God. Yeah, we're not even close. I just don't have enough ships here, unfortunately. I want to say that they're all uh, going other other places. So maybe we should pull those back then since we... Yeah, you know what? That's what we're going to have to do if we want to get the ships over there. It's the only way. Uh, so let's go and pull back. Uh, no, I said pull back. Troll. Uh, I don't know if they're over in these locations. Let's just take a look, make sure we're not pulling out. Yeah, it looks like they are in all of these locations. All right, well, that's a shame. But what we can do is make this fleet uh, just prioritize these regions here so that maybe we can get those ones done since that's what we need to get done to do the naval invasions. Uh, and these guys should be out there patrolling. Yeah, they're out there doing their thing. They're ready to engage as soon as we locate an enemy. Uh, so we're just kind of waiting on that now. Uh, it does seem there is a naval battle in the Solomon Sea. Eh, it's just a freight convoy. All right, nothing exciting. Oh, yes, that's right. I forgot we were supposed to be uh, fighting over here. And I'm manually controlling them all. So let's go ahead and make sure we get this completed. Uh, let's have these guys go over this way. This guy go this way. And then this division will attack here. You guys do that. You guys do that. Let's just get all this finished up. Uh, and one more province here to take and then we'll be done here all right excellent so getting that wrapped up guys and then we're gonna go and start planning the invasion of australia hopefully they don't have many troops uh yeah they have no divisions so unless their allies had division stationed here we should be able to easily conquer australia it shouldn't be too challenging at all uh so we'll be launching that invasion soon getting this wrapped up uh once again not really a lot here you get some resources uh really just trying to uh just trying to take out all the enemy uh, enemy areas because 
until I get this this Japanese fleet destroyed. Uh, I cannot send my Pacific fleet to the Atlantic, and we need the, them over here in order to, to launch the, the offensive over there. So I'm just trying to get this wrapped up over here, guys. That's what we're waiting on, is just trying to destroy these damn ships. Uh, it's taking longer than expected, unfortunately. Uh, and then, of course, I can't do this damn invasion here. I just can't get it. Yeah, that sucks. <laughs> you know what we'll do to add more num uh, higher number here? Let's bring these guys over here. I think that will help as well. Um, maybe might allow us to achieve superiority enough. We're almost there. We're at 41.4%. What if we sent more submarines? Uh, and you know what? If we sink some ships here, then that might be uh, do the trick as well. Although that was just convoys, unfortunately. All right, just engage them, man. Surprised we're not bombing them here uh, with our, our bombers. You'd expect us to be getting some notifications because I would not be surprised if their fleet was stationed there. Uh, you'd expect that they were. Uh, so, I thought that was plain. It is not. <laughs> so, currently at 41.4%. If we don't get it soon, I might go ahead and send more subs over there. Because even the subs can achieve, you know, they help achieve uh, naval supremacy as well. Uh, so, just anything. Just putting anything over there would be helpful, I think. Yeah, I'm surprised that we haven't been able to achieve it. They don't really have that many ships there. But, yeah, we just can't get, get more. Uh, because we haven't put... You know what? Maybe we need to put these guys on patrol. Just to have a higher ship number there. You know what? Let's do that, guys. Uh, I'm just trying to get this done. So, patrol. And that should be enough. Uh, we did get uh, national focus done as well as some research done. Let's go and get these selected. Uh, we will do So, that's assembly line production. So, our national focus. Uh, we could go ahead and get the Manhattan Project. We're almost uh, where we'd want to be able to research that. Seeing what else we can get here. Obviously, a lot of these would be pretty advantageous, honestly. You know, there's a ton of stuff I'd like to get here. Let's get tank experiments. I think that'd be the best thing to get right now. Uh, soon, we're going to have to start working on the ship and, and air uh, techs, though. Uh, getting the, the bonuses for those. Uh, so, uh, let's go ahead and get... Alright, we're working on 1942 techs. That's good to see, but let's go and get mechanized so we can start building those. For our medium tanks, because we should have the army experience for them soon, hopefully. Especially once we launch our invasion over here. Yeah, I'm really irritated this is advancing. Because this is this is taking too goddamn long to get going. Uh, once we send those additional ships, ships there, then that should give us a superiority. Come on, man. We got less ships there now. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, you know what? If I assign these guys here, then that might do the trick as well. Uh, not entirely sure where they are located right now. Where are these guys? Here we go. They're right here. Uh, let's go ahead and have them do patrol too. Just to have more ships here. Alright, that's 49. <laughs> if we could just get up to 50%, we need one more freaking percent, man. That's ridiculous. Just one more percent, and then we get it. Uh, and we are having some battles here, but they're all convoys, so we're not even sinking any of their ships. Yeah, that's a real shame, man. I'm sitting here waiting for 1%. There we go. Thank God. Let's go and send these while we can. Uh, and once they get out of port, which it should be soon, we're going to send them the support of that one ship that I pulled back here. Uh, and these guys are actually attempting to locate somebody. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's not actually what I wanted to happen there. Yeah, because we need our fleet here. But we have to finish this battle now. Uh, they're currently lo locating them, so we're going to just have to wait. And hopefully they can do it on their own. And it looks like they are being bombed across as well. Our convoys are. Yep, they're right there. All right, so it looks like we'll be able to win even with the help, the assistance of the, the fleet. Thank God, man. <laughs> Just trying to get this damn thing done. Still trying to locate them here in the South China Sea. This should be the big battle that we're looking for to, to finish off the Japanese fleet. Uh, and also a naval invasion in the Mariana. Uh, are they still trying to engage? Nope, they look like they're going after Saipan this time. Where are they going to invade from? Like, where? Like, I don't even... Yeah, maybe they're invading from over here. Are these their convoys? Are these troop convoys attempting to invade there? We don't have any troops there, so I'd have to invade it again if I let them let them get it. So that's not desirable. Uh, we still got troops over here training, though. Uh, what we'll, we'll do is we'll take some divisions from the back here and have them go over to uh, that area. Uh, where is it that they're invading? I think it's right here. Yeah, one of these. So let's go ahead and put a division there. And then also, if we have any other back divisions here, these ones are probably not going to be needed. Uh, way back that far. Highly doubt there's going to be any invasions over there. So we'll go ahead and bring them over there as well. Uh, we'll bring... We'll just bring a couple. We'll bring both of these guys over here, actually. Bring these two to, to Guam. Probably take them a while to get there. And uh, it might not be in time for the invasion. Uh, that's definitely a reality. Did sink a battleship over here with our planes. That's awesome. Uh, and maybe something else over here? Oh, look at that. Yeah, that, that fleet's just about destroyed, guys. 
Uh, so even if we did engage him, uh, then it would be a wrap for him. Uh, it looks like the, yeah, they, they're trying to run the new Pride of the Fleet, another carrier, uh, as well as a heavy cruiser, both heavily damaged, attempting to get away. Light cruiser here is probably going to get sunk. Uh, and we did get the research finish for the M2 carbons. Awesome. Let's go ahead and get the uh, bazookas. And hopefully this battle will finish up here soon. Uh, and it looks like we re-engaged them. Okay. There we go. All right, so we did sink the Pride of the Fleet again. Uh, not that that's having much of an effect on their, uh, you know, their war support. Um, but we got the heavy cruiser sunk too. All right, so this is looking, yeah, we're finally getting it done. It took us a while. Um, we're finally finishing this up, getting it completed. Uh, atomic research has been completed as well. We're not going to work on nuclear reactors yet. We'll wait till we get the uh, tech bonus for that. Besides, there's a ton of stuff that we need to get right now any damn way, so we should probably start working on those. Uh, we still we haven't finished the land doctrine yet, so we need to work on those. Uh, still be quite behind on artillery and anti-air, so we should probably start working on those. Uh, and we did sink a light cruiser over here. Good news. Uh, and we need to assign these uh, cavalry divisions wherever the hell they're at. Uh, let's get these guys assigned to garrison some of these islands, or at least that one right there, and maybe this one as well. And they should probably garrison over here, too. Yeah, we're gonna have to garrison all this. Alright, so get those guys garrisoning that, and then we can also go ahead and start planning for the invasion of Australia. Uh, we'll do that from Port Moresby. Uh, and in fact, do we have any other locations? Not really. Alright, well, I, I want to hit multiple ports up. So I think we're gonna go ahead and send multiple invasions from right here, uh, but we'll do that. We'll do that next episode. I just want to get uh, this completed. So we said that we did it, uh, and also have done more damage to that fleet there, and sunk a convoy. All right, I was thinking it would be a ship, but yeah, we got a light cruiser there. All right, so this fleet should be wrapped up soon, guys. We got a destroyer sunk there, uh, destroyer and light cruiser. This is, of course, the Chinese fleet, so not the Japanese one. Here we go. All right, so Nimitz fleet has engaged them uh, finally. We did already sink that light cruiser. I think it was heavily damaged. Yeah, this is the big battle that we needed. Two heavy cruisers sunk already. A light cruiser, ten destroyers sunk. Uh, about to get those heavy cruisers. Uh, so far, I've only lost five destroyers of our own. Uh, and there we go. Battle has been completed. That's not the battle. Uh, and we lost five destroyers, some planes, uh, and we got two carriers, uh, six heavy ships, seven light cruisers, 25 destroyers, and a bunch of planes. So that went very, very well. Uh, that should allow us to dominate the Pacific from here on out. They only have, uh, I mean, they have like 100 ships left. A bunch of those are probably submarines. But yeah, they're devastated. Their ships are all damaged. They're not going to be able to repair. Uh, it looks like they did lose this territory over here as well. It's a shame, but we'll be able to get that once it goes into French hands. Uh, also, that seems to be owned by Japan too. Uh, a little invasion right there, perhaps. Yeah, I don't know exactly what happened there, since I think this is their friends. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's right. This is yeah. This is obviously French territory here. All right. So we have finally landed here. Uh, that means these Japanese troops are going to be cut off. We're going to get them destroyed. Once they are destroyed, we're going to launch multiple invasions. We're going to hit every single port up. Um, probably just two per port, I think. Obviously, some of them will fail. We have more uh, troops that we can send. We'll send some of these guys over there to, to assist them in those naval invasions. Uh, because I don't think we'll need 18 divisions, honestly, uh, for the invasion of Australia. I think that might be a bit much more than, than is needed. Uh, and in addition to that, did we ever finish this up? We we Looks like there's less divisions there. I don't know what is going on there, what's taken so long for these guys to get this completed. Uh, but hopefully they can get it done this time. There's less divisions there. So we could also send more troops as well just to try and get it done Though it looks like we can't send this many uh, Let's get them all going to here, and then I'm gonna see if I can't get like two onto it. Nope one more Maybe because it's launching right now, and that's why we can't do it if those eight divisions can't do it Then we'll send the entire army over here all 12 divisions on this damn invasion just to get that fucking island uh, And so hopefully we get that completed soon uh, and yeah, this is gonna be the end of the episode guys um, obviously just Right now just focus on getting that Japanese fleet destroyed and now that it pretty much is I think that we did enough damage guys to go ahead and move uh, uh, King back to the Atlantic theater and then we're gonna be focusing on uh, you know what I think I Think we are gonna attack Denmark guys There's no other efficient way of doing this uh, some people were opposed to it saying that you know it wouldn't make a whole lot of sense for us to uh, attack Denmark uh, They can now join the conflict though Okay, uh, so 
Some people are saying that uh, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense, and they won't join our faction, by the way, guys. Uh, we're not the faction leader, first of all. Secondly, Democrats don't join communist factions, typically, unless they absolutely have no other choice. Uh, and they have to be attacked first any damn way, so the Germans would have to attack, attack them. And then, even then, I, I highly doubt they would choose to join our faction over uh, the Italian or French factions. Uh, so... There's no real way to get them into our faction. There's nothing we can do about it. Uh, opinion that a lot of people don't know that doesn't really help much. It, has, gets, it helps just a little bit, not much, and it doesn't help us at all because we're not the faction leader. Uh, so uh, there's no way to get them in the faction uh, unless they become communist, uh, and then they'll, they'll probably join. Uh, but they're at 29%. We could push that along a little bit further if we wanted to waste the political power. It'd take time. And you know what, guys? I, I don't want to wait. I say let's justify a war goal. Let them join. Let them join the Germans. It's fine. Uh, the Germans could use the assistance any damn way. <laughs> we'll keep the central powers in the war longer. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to go ahead and do that, guys. Uh, let's just justify our war goal. shouldn't take long to do that. Yeah, we'll go after Greenland in, oh, 90 days. Ah, oh, that sucks. All right, guys. So, yeah, that's going to take 90 days. That's fine. Let's justify the war goal, though, so that we can attack Denmark and attempt to get them conquered. Uh, we'll go, we'll launch onto Greenland, then we'll launch onto Iceland. And then we'll go after the British. Uh, so that'll be our base of operations. So let's go ahead and send some divisions to Greenland to do this. Uh, so we're going to want maybe five divisions going to Greenland. Uh, so we'll need to take an additional Yellow Army division, uh, which I think they're all right here. I don't want to send all those guys over there. Uh, where's this guy at? Oh, yes, that's right. I forgot he got messed up. We'll send him up there. So we'll send those five divisions into Greenland. Uh, and then from Greenland, they'll go to Iceland. And that'll allow us to get a port here and a, an uh, air base. We'll build an air base there. We'll start bombing the British fleet here uh, and uh, also deploying our fleets, our own fleets here. Uh, we'll go ahead and mine all this area as well. Yeah, we're going to mine all this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll mine all this uh, and then just try and get the, the British fleet destroyed. See what we can do there. Uh, they currently have 200-something ships left, so it's going to be a big battle. Uh, the Germans currently have 50-something ships. Uh, the French have... I think 90 ships or so. The Italians still have a pretty good sized navy right now. Uh, and the Soviets, they currently have 100 ships as well. Uh, so, yeah, we'll be, finally be able to get engaging with the British. And then we'll be able to launch our invasions. Uh, probably launch into either Ireland or Scotland, perhaps. Not entirely sure yet uh, where our first invasion will be. Uh, but yeah, we'll launch some invasions and start conquering conquering the Brits, get them knocked out of the conflict, and, and once they fall, Germany's done for. And then that'll allow us to the, then start focusing on the other factions. I uh, hope that you guys did enjoy this episode. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. Looks like we're actually about to engage a this large uh, Japanese fleet again. Uh, I think that, that's, that if we destroy that, that'll be just about it for the Japanese. There'll pretty much just be submarines left, if I had to guess. Uh, they won't have really much much of a fleet left. Uh, so, yeah, we're about to engage them there. Also, there's a nibble battle over here with some uh, just some regular old freight convoys. Uh, attempted to get those sunk. The submarines have done a fantastic job over there, by the way. Uh, so, yeah, hope to see you on the next episode, and thanks for watching, guys.